Hey, how's everybody doing today? Okay, JP from JP's Tech, and I wanted to talk about a couple things that I have here, modules and joysticks. When I first got into DCS, I ended up getting the uh, Thrustmaster. So I picked up the, of course, it's with the Thrustmaster, the X56, it comes with, pretty sure it was the X56, it comes with the A10, and it's a metal. It's an all-metal, it's an all-metal joystick. Very well made, heavy. We can give some weights with these. Okay, the A10, 2.43, 1.13 for the 18. And this is the Verpal, very light, almost 14 ounces. Quite a big difference. So the quality of the Thrustmaster is 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 outstanding it's all metal all of the buttons on it are very very tight everything on it's tight so the 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 one that comes with it the the a10 this is also will work with the f16 you know they're pretty much identical it has the the pinky you can use it for a brake nose wheel steering some of it is for weapons buttons it, it depends on what jet you're with what it's used you know to assign with you know you got your release button uncage button what this whole video is leading up to is the f14 i watched some of the older videos and i almost almost didn't buy it because some of the older videos that i was watching i wasn't too impressed with the button quality that was probably the biggest the biggest issue some people were having with it and it looks like verpal definitely took these people's advice and straightened a few things out and this is this is kind of what i want to get out of the way but first i want to jump over to the 18 quality the 18 the the 15 i think um are all the same again very tight buttons it also has this addition on here i know that the, the verpal makes a cosmo that you can pretty much set the buttons up but it's not a one for one like this is and everything on the Thrustmaster is just very good quality. I was very surprised. The only thing is, is I, I actually, I get, we're going to get to this right now. I like the 14. I like the plastic, the heavy-duty plastic that it's made out of. Now, some of the things that people were talking about that they didn't like was the screw on the side. I guess they took the advice because the screws used to protrude over here and they could catch on. This one still protrudes a little bit, but it looks like it's filed down and it won't cut you, you know. It, you, you won't get nothing really hung up on it. You shouldn't. The thumb lever on it isn't as flexible as it was before. Should it be made of metal? I would prefer. You can see it still has a little, but it's a little bit of flex, but it still stops at least a half an inch away. But one of the things that were the main complaints that people were talking about were the buttons they said they were very spongy very wobbly and it looks like they corrected that the older joystick the older grip looked like it had a shinier plastic on it the material it, it's more of a matte finish now and it looks like they changed the buttons because they were more of a bright red and these are more almost of a cranberry color now and as far as sponginess it looks like they pretty much got rid of a lot of that as you can, nice a nice click, the trigger, click, click, another one. The button on the side, there's no play in this anymore. And this button over here, very, very little bit play. But you, you can't get perfection anywhere. But it's got a nice crisp push to it. My favorite thing is definitely the weapon switch. I just got this in so it does need a little bit of probably wearing in, maybe even a very slight bit of, uh, maybe a little slight bit of grease on there to help it slide better, very, very little. I'd have to look and see if that's okay to do. But yeah, it's pretty cool going from, so you gotta push it in. And that's the only thing about it. The first one, when it's on off, you really gotta push it in good. It goes in and then you get a click can hear that click once that click goes it slides right up to guns sidewinders sparrows and phoenixes so the trim is an eight-way trim it's got four arrows on it but it actually has eight different 
movements you can use in the software you can see that it fits my hand pretty good it's not a one for one although it does look just like the 14 it isn't an identical one for one like the 18 is a one for one the warthog is a one for one this one is very similar so we got heavy duty plastic it looks like they definitely changed the buttons up made them a little bit stronger tighter fitting nowhere near as spongy and another thing that was a problem was the cable was when i put it on i normally pull it out it comes out a little bit not as long as the one i seen before i was like wow it really came out far and i take a little pair of needle nose with some tape on them so it doesn't bite into it you don't leave no teeth mark and you just hold it enough so you can reach in there and you can slide it right in to the usb fitting on the base which i'm using the verbal warbird this little wheel right here we are tightening it on is still made of aluminum i would take it it's definitely not plastic you can take this and it slides right back in. see it doesn't have the loop on it it doesn't catch i guess they corrected their issue and it slides right in nice so i just want to do this video just so if anybody's out there and they were debating by watching some of the older videos i just like to do a little update to let people know that if they're like on the edge of whether they want to buy it or not because of you know, I haven't seen anything brand new out on this yet since they've made their corrections. And uh, it looks like Verpal wrapped it up pretty good. Pretty good. I still say they should make this metal like with even shorter, like with the 18. That, that's just about perfect for me. Grabs the pinky. This one, you can almost put three fingers on it if you want. All you need is enough for one doesn't need to be quite so long that's that's one of my things i think they should definitely correct in the future is make it out of metal and the a10 uh, i guess it would be again i guess it's the 16 the way it's designed it's it, it'll only even though it's a little longer it'll only grab your pinky and there's another thing that i found that i really like so there's a space you can get that goes in here that prevents it from loosening up and if you're using it a lot there is a chance i i did have one of them loosen up on me one time and i kind of caught it before it started backing out too much but this thing is pretty cool you can slip it on once it's tightened and it fits right in there it leaves no place for it to loosen so even if it got a little turn it's not going to loosen and damage anything there's nowhere for it to go i thought it would fit on the 18 but with the 18 the latch goes quite a way under there and it protrudes a bit and without cutting a notch into it you pretty much can't get it in so i might order another one and machine it out so it would click right in there it, it wouldn't be hard to do at all it would actually would be very simple so i'm probably going to order another one yes they get shipped all the way from china so it might take a a couple of weeks for it to come in so on a good note not that this was a bad note on a good note i have the um f-16 uh, the wind wing f-16 setup coming in today i just checked and it's on fedex and it's on the way and i can't wait for it to come in because I noticed you can set up any other throttle to work with it, but it, it's not the same. You, you, to use the antennas, the radar, the, the, the buttons, the switches, it, it, it's without that handle, it's almost impossible to be able to get them, them antennas up, them radars um, extended, and the different things on different ways I'm still working on. I'm still pretty much an amateur at this myself, and I'm learning slowly but surely my big problem is I've, I've been jumping I think from one module to another too quick and my favorite still even though I love the 14's joystick it's fun to use the 18 is still I think one of my favorite planes it's it's a tough 
rugged plane. You can land it hard. <laughs> you can land it soft. It, it handles easy. Uh, the 16 is another fun plane. You just got to be careful with your turns on the ground because I've I've caused fires on the wings by scraping them a couple times. The 14, that's a touchy baby. That one right there, you pull too hard, it shakes. It's a shake, rattle, and roll plane, um, but it's, it's, it's awesome. It's awesome, and I can't wait for, I think it's Razbam is going to be making the new F-15 module, the E version, come out. That is going to be awesome. It looks incredible. I've been watching the videos, and everybody's getting really psyched for it. So... I know this isn't really an intuitive video, but if it can help somebody make up their mind on any of these grips, I mean, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions about them. So far, I like them all. The one-for-ones are, are great. I guess it's one-for-one. One. You really can't change much to do with those. The 14, they definitely definitely made some corrections with it and they were for the better obviously with the buttons with the with the china hat and i can already feel this just getting smoother as i use it more and more it's it's breaking itself right in which is nice it's a chonky grip once again, I, I really wish they would redesign this, but maybe they're going off of what it actually looks like. I'd have to look up a picture of the real one to see what is on here, how it looks. But all in all, that that's pretty much, I'm going to wrap it up on that. I mean, in, until the other stuff comes in, I, I just wanted to put that out there. If, you're on, if, you, if you were on the edge about whether or not to buy the 14, I would recommend it. I would recommend the, the, the Verpo 14 all day long. It's definitely, they, they've made their corrections. It's a solid, it's, it's lighter, it's not cheaply made. It's a heavy, heavy duty plastic. It's got some nice texture on it, almost like a gun grip on the side. And it, it just fits nice in the hand. It just feels good going from, from rockets to guns and you know, put you almost in the seat you know with the with the uh <laughs> with the show there maverick the movie maverick it, it's kind of like it's kind of funny on that note but i i see they have some maps out on it as well but anyways thrustmaster verbal and even wing wing they all make outstanding outstanding equipment if you enjoyed the video or you found anything in here that you liked like I said, if you want to leave a comment, fine. But please do me a favor, help the channel by liking. And if you're new, subscribe. Have a great day.